Welcome to the Retail Management Hero Point of Sale System, also known as POS. POS is extremely easy to use, but at the same time it provides a lot of powerful features for managing your store's customers and transactions. In this video, I will introduce you to the key features of the POS window, such as the lookup field, transaction list, transaction summary, function buttons, and custom buttons. I will also introduce some basic POS functionality, such as logging on and off, looking up customers, and adding customers. To log on, type your user ID and password and tap Login. You are probably new to POS, so let's explore some key features of the window so you feel comfortable and confident using the system. You can change the size of the POS window by selecting one of the predefined window sizes, or by resizing the window manually. You will probably want the POS window to fill the screen, so it's easy to see customer information and transaction details. You can also use either a high contrast dark skin or a low contrast light skin for the window. Choose a skin that makes it easy for you to read the transaction details on the screen. You will notice two tabs to the left of the window. You will spend most of your time on the transaction tab. You will learn more about the internet tab in a minute. A common feature of the POS window is the lookup field. There are different kinds of lookup fields. There is the item lookup field that you see here, which is used to look up items. There is also a customer lookup field, a sales representative lookup field, a transaction lookup field, and so on. The most important part of the POS window is the transaction list. This is where you can see all of the items in a transaction, and details, such as the item lookup code, name, price, and item quantity. Another important part of the POS window is the transaction summary below the transaction list. This is where you can easily see the number of items in the transaction, any savings the customer is getting because of sales, discounts, or the store's loyalty program, as well as the item subtotal, taxes, and transaction total. Below the transaction summary is a row of function buttons. You can use these buttons to perform specific tasks in POS, such as looking up items or customers, tendering the sale, applying discounts, and so on. Below the row of function buttons is an optional on-screen keyboard. You will use the on-screen keyboard if your store uses touchscreen monitors in POS lanes instead of regular computer keyboards. You can show and hide the keyboard by tapping the keyboard drop-down menu. To the right of the window, you may see a list of buttons in the Custom Commands pane. Your store has the option to define its own custom buttons to provide shortcuts for common tasks, such as looking up customers or sales representatives, applying dollar or percent off discounts, or tendering common cash denominations such as 20s, 50s, or 100s. Now let's look at the Internet tab to the left of the window, which was mentioned earlier. Your store has the option to integrate a website into POS on the Internet tab. We have integrated the Google website in this demo, but your store could integrate its own website or a supplier website to make it easier to look up item pricing and ordering options. Now that you're comfortable with the POS window, let's explore how to look up, edit, and add customers. Some stores require customer lookup for transactions. For example, a store that primarily ships items to customers will require cashiers to look up customers for every transaction. At other stores, customer lookup may be recommended but not required. POS can be configured to display the customer lookup screen before every transaction. You can also display the customer lookup screen at any time by tapping Customers and Lookup Customer. You learned earlier that there are different kinds of lookup fields in POS. Let's look at the Customer Lookup field in more detail. The most common way to look up customers is by entering their first or last name into the lookup field. Let's look up Cam Cardinal by entering his first name, Cam. You can select Cam by tapping his name and then tapping Select. You can enter partial names if you are unsure of the spelling. For example, Bobby Jo is buying some items at the store but you're not sure how to spell her name. You could look up Bobby Jo by entering either Bob or Joe. You can select Bobby Jo by tapping her name and then tapping Select. If you find it easier, you can also just tap her name twice. You can look up customers by name, as we've seen here, or by account number, phone number, email address, company name, or address. 
You just noticed that the store doesn't have Bobby Joe's email address or phone number on file. With her approval, you can add that information. It's also easy to add a new customer. Jim just moved to the area and wants the store to email him about special offers and sales. So you add him as a customer and enter his email address. And that's it. As you've seen, it's extremely easy to use the POS window and to look up, edit, and add customers. In the next video in the series, we will look at how to enter basic transactions. To log out, tap Operations Secure Logout.